hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support so today i'm coming back with the in full bloom floral delights um decolage which was the last decolage sec um la la can't even speak the la last decolage collection that they launched that's what i'm getting tongue-tied on today um and today i thought i'd have a little play with this amazing anemone um I think anemone is a difficult word to sort of when you see it to say and I always think of that mana mana song that's how I get my head around it because it's kind of like the same thing you can swap anemone for mana mana sorry if that's in your head and it's going to be in your head for the rest of the day um, but you get two sheets of in, in the main ultimate collection you get two sheets of each one so um, you're going to get two of the anemones and two of the geraniums um, plus all the others. You get two of the beautiful matching um, printed sheet for those. And then again for those others you get the um, decoupage or decolage. Um, you don't have to use all of it on the actual topper. It will match the printed sheet as well. You've got the same again and it's all foiled, beautifully done as, as usual with Hunky Dory. Um, and then you get um, two each of your inserts or in this case I did get three of the um, geranium one. Um, I don't know why I picked all of those bits up and my notes for today. But we don't need those as yet. So I'm going to put that to the top. Let's just post those in there. Don't need that yet. I do need that. I don't need that. And then those pieces we need as well. Okay. Let's pop those to the side for a second because I need to do a little bit of construction of our card today. So the first card I'm going to do it is um, a different style for me. I haven't made a card like this. I'm not 100% sure it's going to work, but we're going to give it a go and see what happens. So um, I am going to be cutting away some of the card. So what I can do is um, just mark it at the 6 inch mark because it is still going to be a 6 by 6 card. And then I can bring in my trimmer which I've just swapped a hunky dory blade in there and then I'm just going to take put that score line at the two inch mark and I can line it up here if I need to and then I'm just going to cut that off so we've got that piece off there okay and then we can give that a good fold down And that's going to be the start of our piece. Now, what I want to do is make um, a sort of fence, but a posh fence, because we're going to have a bit of um, gold mirror um, on it as well. So, I've just got a piece of gold mirror, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this at one notch under half an inch. And I think I'm going to do myself, let's do seven pieces. I don't know if I'm going to use all seven, but we'll go with that for a start. So, four. And I'm not worrying about the length at the moment because I can always cut those down. Um, and we'll put that to the side. And then from this piece that we've cut off, again, I don't know if I'm going to get the uh, amount I need off them. But I'm just going to take that down to um, two notches under half an inch. And again, I want seven to start with. Like I say, I don't know if I'm going to use them all. Uh, if you watch the end of the video, you'll find out. 
um, or I might even, if I remember, just put a little note to say whether I use them all or not. Um, so I'm going to want a mirror map for the back, um, so that's a six by six, but I'm going to take two notches off two of the sides, just like I normally do. And I am going to put an insert on there, so I will cut that on my other cutter. Um, and then I'm going to take another um, mirror map, and I'm going to cut this. I'm going to take one notch off on this one. Okay, and the reason for that is because um, that is going to go on the inside of my card. If I show you what I mean, so that's going to go on the inside of my card, and I don't want it to pop over the edge too much um, when it's done. Okay, so this other piece here was two by six, so I can do a mat for that. And that's going to be a normal two notches off that two inch, and two notches off that six inch. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in the printed cardstock. I'm going to cut this at five and three quarters. I'll do that for a start and I'm taking the piece without the image on so this one will match up with the decoupage um, and I will use that on another card um, but for this top piece I need a piece that's one and three quarters so I'm going to take that lovely piece off the top there and then to fit on this slightly smaller one I think it's going to go on quite nicely yeah, I might go a little longer on it, so I'm just going to go to three notches under the six. I don't think the end makes so much of a difference to it. I'm going to take one more notch off the side there, so that's two notches. Yeah, two notches off. So it's one notch off the top and two notches off the side. And now I think that's going to be good. Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that. We need the um, other trimmer for the insert. So let's get that piece cut as well. There we go. And again, I'm not going to use that picture because we're using that other piece. I'm just going to cut the other side down. We've still got the image on there. It's going to match in perfectly with my card. That's my insert. And we can pop that out of the way. Okay. Right. So let's pop that out of the way and bring in these strips. So, we've got our white pieces, we've got our gold pieces. So these white pieces should fit really tightly over there with just a tiny hint of sunlight coming over the top. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna use my little glue dots pen for these. Again, I'm not going to worry about trimming them because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be hiding them behind that header up here. So if I just line them up at one end just to make it easy for myself just to get the border right. Pretty much the same size anyway. But um, sorry, I've got a fully down cardigan today. 
and we're just going to go and do the same on all of these so sorry this is going to take me a little while what I might do is just fast forward ahead to where I've got those done okay so now we've got all those done and obviously if you wanted to you could put an embossed pattern on these and maybe if you've got a wood embossing folder that would be perfect now I'm not sure if I want to go sort of straight down like so maybe one or two across well that looks good with that little bit of gold on or whether to try something new and have it going it's just uh with my tape let's see how long this will hold that down at the back So, or whether to go for something more like that. Obviously, we would cut off any edges that were showing. I actually think I prefer it the other way, so we're just going to go with them straight down. So, and I will trim them a little bit, but not too much. So, I'm just going to go with four, and I'll have one kind of near the bottom, and one there. I think. Okay, so yeah going with that so let's grab some scissors and like i say this top bit is going to be um hidden so i'm just going to take just about half an inch maybe nearly an inch doesn't matter if they're even or not like i say nobody is going to see it then i'm going to bring in my normal glue so these glues um, are the strongest out of all of the glues that I use so um, obviously I want to give this uh, a nice bit of support actually I might keep that on there for a little minute okay so now let's these are the ones I've not cut that's why they're still the same length oh lord okay so what I'm going to do just kind of put my finger where they are and I think I'll just use my tacky glue for this because I do want them to go and stick quite quickly so I'm going to line it up with the bottom of my card and if I pop it on my mat a little bit hopefully we can keep them kind of straight but if they're flat at the bottom we should hopefully be pretty much on for a straight line. So this one, let's turn it around that way because that is straight that way. So I'm doing this kind of wrong handed really, so I do apologize. But let's pop this one on this side. And we can kind of space them out e equally. I'm hoping they're going to stay quite straight. Let's bring in my little ruler. There we go. I think that one's alright. And then this one. Good. And then if we come around about scrap, we'll get it on first of all and then we'll work out where it needs to be. So again, tacky glue. We'll 
kind of want that to be around about there is the middle. Like I say, I'm just doing it by eye. I'll just assume I was the one doing the fencing. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that over because I had decided I was gonna do the four. See, good job we've got that wet glue. And good job it's all gonna be hidden. There we go, so that's that one. If you wanted to do five, so they're a bit stronger, you could do, but because they are backed onto foil with that just hint of like sunlight coming through is what I was sort of aiming for. Um, they are quite strong anyway. Okay, so there's my crosses. And then I was going to come across the bottom, didn't I? So let's pop my ruler along. This one still looks like it's trying to move. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue each of these. And then I'm going to line that up with the side and pop that on. I can see I'm just a bit, the space in the middle is just a little bigger than that one there, but I'm not going to worry about that at all. And then this one, yeah, back there. So if I pop that there and we'll just put the glue. Stop sticking to me above. I'll put that one onto there. Like so. Actually, I might move it just a tad up. There we go. Okay, let's put that away. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that to sit and glue for a minute and um, while it's doing that I will um, just do these other layers so I can pop those away, we don't want that. Now if you wanted to as well, if you use um, a corner rounder on these edges um, you'll get a rounded shape like, you know, like the picket fence sort of, um, uh, picket fence sort of um, fencing okay so next bit so because this is paper the insert I'm going to pop some dots in the corner and then I'm just going to use my full purpose glue so the tacky glue is not good for the paper because it does make it sort of um, bubble up as it dries just because of the water content, I, I believe. Um, but the alcohol glue is perfect. So I'm just going to give it a good smooth down because I don't want it to dry with any sort of ridges in because we're hoping to be able to write on that at the end or well, when we send it out. Uh, so this is cardstock to cardstock. So I'm just going to put a little bit of tacky in those corners just to get that glue in nice and quickly for me That's that piece there and then lastly same again with this one I think I might pop a little bit of ribbon on the back as well this one just to break up that purple a little bit and I have got a really nice purple, I think, like a really light one, which would go quite nice on there. Let me just grab that. I might use this on both of the cards. So you can see it's just that little bit darker. So let's just cut myself a piece around about there. To the side. 
need it. We will want a little bit of red liner tape for the back. Just going to cut a little piece of that. I'm going to come quite close to the top because we want to, like I say, want to break that purple up a little bit. Hopefully, this now, if I open that up, you know, it's never that sticky when I want it to be. This should be quite sturdy now, it is. Okay, so let's pop our insert in on the back. This one here is going to be glued to the front of our card so we've got that sort of seam behind coming through so I think the best thing for this is going to be a little bit of all, um, super sticky tape just because it's the strongest thing and I think what I'll do is just pop it on there and if you wanted to measure it out and just make sure um, you are not wasting any card you could, I could have come an extra inch and a half down, but I kind of figured it's not worth it really, just to, just want to get that into position. So I'm going to come down to the, I don't know if I want to go to the edge, because I was thinking if I go to the bottom, it's going to give the support to that frame. So I am going to go right to the bottom of my card, line it up at the bottom there. I'm also going to come in with my usual glues, not too close to the edge because I've got a border there. So let's do that again, let's hold it in position, it's nicely in the middle and then let's pop that down, that red line of tape should pick that up and there you've got that fence with the sort of free space behind it so that is what I was going for so that's perfect so so far so good apart from the space in there which could have been better but I could have measured it but I'm a by eye kind of girl and I think once the flower gets on there because I'm putting the flower up against the front I think you're really not going to notice it actually you might notice that if it's upside down because I wanted it to go the right way up okay so I don't think that's going to glue everywhere it will just glue to the top of those so we'll check how that's doing in a minute right so now I'm going to come to the decoupage now if I bring in let me just pop out this topper so you can see this top one, there's quite a lot of layers on both of them um, for that front one. I mean, technically you're looking at what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. So I'm going to keep the topper. I do want some of the decoupage to go on it. Uh, let's see what pops out when we pop this through. And obviously I'm just going to be a little bit careful. It's going to be a whole one, so that may be for another card. Let's see what this one is like. Hopefully, it's a bit more cut away, which is what I was looking for. Oops, come on. Um, just being careful because that stem is a little bit delicate. Yeah, I think this is more what I was looking for. Okay, and then what I'm thinking of is that this is going to go on the front. Um, I'm going to leave a couple of layers. I think 
I'll come in with this one here and I'll go in with the centre. So that's going to be my layers. I'm going to save the bees. Well, we should all save the bees, but I'm going to save the bees for um, another card. Now, what I want to do is just put glue on where this is going to go. Should I move that over and have that stuck there, maybe? I think we should. So, if I just put my fingers there, I know I can glue all the way across there. And then we, if I put some glue on the stem, because I know that's going to be... I'm just going to pop some glue on there. I'm hoping it's going to catch it in the right place. I might have to just wait for it to dry and rub it off if there's anything. Mind you, you wouldn't see it because that... Okay, so that is how our card is looking. Um, and then I'm going to just come in, and quite a tricky one, although it's looking better than I thought it might. I thought it all could go very wrong. And I'm just using one millimetre pads. Um, and my aim with this decollage kit is to get at least three cards from each set, if I can. Now there will be some for sure that probably won't allow that um, and I might just have a piece of backing card because obviously um, I've got um, the full sheet there to use. Um, so we will see how it goes but I'm hoping and again it's a good opportunity if I have to bring some other card stock in as well. Um, I can always use that insert, that insert is printed over the fullness of it, so there's colour there. I can always use that as a backdrop as well. And that is what I might end up doing, but we will see. Because you've got two sheets of insert for each one, and if you're doing six by six cards, then you know, you're looking at four cards there, aren't you? But let's just pop this on, match it up. There we go. And oh, maybe we need to, I need to drag that piece out as well and see what sentiments we have as well. So we've got our little centre piece here. And you can round these if you want to give them even more dimension. about right so let's pop that into my little tub and then just let's grab the sentiment and I've got a choice of hope your day is as wonderful as you I'm really tempted to use that big one across there maybe I believe in you and birthday wishes. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that one. Let's grab a couple of more pads. Just cut them in half. What I may have to do is just pop. If this doesn't stick, I think it is going to stick okay. But I think in hindsight, if I had to put a pad in the middle pieces, it probably would have sat a lot happier but it's not looking bad guys it's looking good and I'm giving you these tips so uh, you're not gonna make the same mistakes I make and I've not made a card like this with a sort of a floaty top and a sort of middle bit and let's come in do we want to go high? Do we want to go low? I think we'll go high. Break up that there. 
And then we need some gems. Have I got any purple gems? I've got pinky ones. We know that. More pinky ones. Or I have got some gorgeous green ones, which I do love. Um, or I've got some midnight ones, which do have a... a they look a bit like soil, you know, like you get these sparkly bits in soil. These are the Midnight Shimmer, one of my favourites. Uh, they must be my favourites because I bought them. Um, so let's see, and I'm going to go with these ones, which do look a bit, like I say, a bit like um, you know, sometimes frosty soil. I mean, you wouldn't get a frosty soil when the anemones are out, but even so. I'm going to put one and two there and I'm going to pop actually let's not go with that big one let's go with the medium or even a small at the top there just to finish that off yeah happy with that and that is going to be card number one say um, I don't know if I need to trim those off I think they are okay they will still go in the envelope um, I'm pretty sure there is a little bit of glue showing there let me just wipe that with my finger while it's still wet and that will go but you're still going to have that floaty well you'll see it when the photos are done um, there is that sort of slight bit of floatiness about that and I suppose you could even come in maybe with some I don't know if vellum would be um, strong enough to hold it, but the vellum at the back would be lovely as well if if there is a vellum with those flowers on, which I'm not sure there is. That is card number one, and I'm going to get set up for card number two. Okay. Okay, so for card number two, I thought I'd do like a just a little step card, sort of a double step card, not my usual um, one, just the one with just the steps on. So um, I'm going to score this at two and at four. And then because I've got the small board, I'm going to rotate that and score at four. And that's going to give me two steps that are two by six and two steps that are four by six. So I'm just going to mount in and probably fold those up. And we're going to end up with a card like so. Now, if you keep everything within those, um, within the um, sort of real estate of the card as such, you could possibly get this in a four by six envelope if it was just a little generous because it's going to be chunky at the side. Actually, I can just see that. That's why that's not. Sorry, just burnishing those creases down. Um, but that is the shape of it. So you can see it's like a posh hen if you put it that way maybe yeah there's the end okay so that is our card i'm not going to be aiming for a six by four surprise surprise i'm going to be aiming for a six by six ish envelope okay so starting with again we've got gold foil oh, sorry I dropped it on the floor so i'm going to bring in a six by six gold mirror mat and uh, I'm going to start by taking two notches off the six. A little sensible, save me making two cups. And then if I rotate that round and do the two notches under the two. And that one's going to fit onto there. And then the back one is going to fit two notches under the four. Okay. Now for the um, steps, now I'm thinking that I quite like, want to save this piece here. So if I take that same piece off the top that I did for the first card, so two notches under the two, And then that needs to be, no, it doesn't need to be two notches under the two. It needs to be one and three quarters. It's not the gold mat. And then um, four, five and three quarters. 
and that's going to be going on to there and then I'm just going to grab another piece of cardstock okay so I've just grabbed this piece out of one of my um, adorable scorable mattastic packs uh, unfortunately I can't tell you um, what the name of it is because the label isn't with it but it has got a lot of this sort of text and sort of French sort of text and colours and and things in but if you look you know if you haven't got that pack I'm sure you've got some duo design pads um, you know you're only looking for a piece that's three and three quarters um, across so you may even have a piece left over from a previous kit that's around about that size um, and you're just looking for something with the purpley sort of pink tones in and even though this is mattastic and this is um, not this is the proper adorable scorable they kind of still work together um, I think anyway so that's going to be that piece there so that was four no three and three quarters by five and three quarters so that is going to be our pieces now I was going to use ribbon but I just remembered we have this ribbon on there as well this um, printed strip so I think we'll use that instead of ribbon on here so let's do some assembling so again this is all cardstock I'll put cut down um, part of the insert and pop that in like I say you do get two of each flower and just going to pop some glue on there and we'll pop this onto the back first of all and if you were looking for um, the adorable scorable pattern packs um, if you're still watching this today um, I believe there are a lot of them in the Black Friday offers I'm hoping they're, they're staying on next week um, but there are a lot of the pattern packs there so and the three I wanted uh, the three that I like the most I've already got so that's always good when you look in the sale and you think ah oh, I've got that I've got that and then you know where it is as well that's the other thing finding where you put it or it is for me anyway I'm getting better at organisation I have to be honest but uh, and that's what part of my sort of push to make cards for charity and and get through it just seems a shame for it just to be sitting there um, and not being used sort of not being forgotten about because I know it's there but just you forget all the lovely images that they do um, and, and the reason why you bought it you know there's always like one or two images in each kit that make you go oh yeah that's why I bought it Okay, so I'm going to pop this the other way up on this one. So we've got the green going up. Sorry, my voice is, my throat is just getting a little dry again. Let me just take a quick drink. Let's see if that helps. It helped a bit. Okay, so now, of course, this is going to come over the top. And if I pop that on the... There, and I know I don't want to come over this six inch mark. Okay, so I think I think I am going to come across um, flat on it because we are going to put the layers. Or are we? Yeah, we're still going to put it flat anyway, even if we don't do the layers. Might put the layers at the front. We will see. Okay, let's get that nice and flat. And we can bring that down a little. And I'm just going to hold it up. I think that's perfect. So, I mean, what I could do, let's grab the border. And we'll just pop that out carefully. So we could have a piece coming out the front. What decoupage have I got left? Let's 
and look. So I want to, definitely want to save some for that other card. So and this one has those bits on, so it's a little bit sturdier. So we could have that going along there, have that there, and then maybe two layers on the back. That is going to be the plan. So let's pop this one out and oh, come on don't break so be gentle with this one because there are some filigree bits so that one I'm going to go with that one I'm going to have one of the bees let's save the bees and I'm going to take centerpiece I think We'll save that for the card. And the other thing I want is a sentiment. Uh, we'll go with birthday wishes. Always like a birthday card. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab my uh, guillotine just to get the border cut down to size. It just needs to be five and three quarters. Okay. Right. So let's do the decoupage on the back first of all. That seems to make sense to me. And then we've got that little piece there. Let's move that there. And we've got some of these pieces here. Now normally I, I do like to pop the um foam pads on so you don't get to watch all of this boring bit really but um, because I was I'm thinking I want to get three cards try and get three cards out of each one um, I didn't want to put foam pads on and then like this one I wouldn't want foam pads on the back of that because that's going to be standing up at our front so um, that's why I didn't do it beforehand so apologies um, but you have to watch this boring bit. You can always skip ahead if you want. That's a brilliant thing about YouTube. Is that if there's not an advert on, you can definitely skip ahead to a more interesting bit. And let's use some of these little bits up because I do like using as much as I can. Um, I'm going to put a good amount of support on here because that will help support the other side as well with that little bit coming above the card a little bit there oops it's gone on the floor and has, did I catch it now? Okay, so let's pop these bits on. Um, as always, uh, unless you're going on to acetate, I always put a little bit of, or vellum, always put a little bit of tacky glue on just to give me a bit of wiggle room time. And, oops. Glad that a couple of people did down a comment they did like my video I did yesterday with the um, Crafters Companion letterpress. So it is nice and easy to use. I have moved my machine back over out of the way at the minute. But what I want to do is because I do have that caboodle, the spellbinders caboodle, I want to try um Spellbinders through that letterpress, the Crafters Companion one, and see how it goes through. Like I say, it is super easy for me. Uh, using the machine is a little bit easier because I don't have. Um, let me just pop another bit of foam there. I don't have a Spellbinders machine that's current that supports the letterpress better press because uh, I use my um, Grand Calibre. Um, for a lot of my manual die cutting and I've also got a little 
purple um, lilac shimmer machine, which is the small one. There we go. So because I've put that glue on there, I can just maneuver that into where I want it to go. And then I'm sure I had a kit that had some dragonflies and and bees on from that I'd put to the side because I'd not used them in the whatever it was I was doing. Okay, you go on there. It's a bit slidey, so let's just use. There you go. And again, actually, I think I'm going to pop this up. Let's go. I want them to be supported, so I'm going to go right about there. I hope we've got a nice long piece. There we go. Nice and quick. Already cut. So this is probably a little bit longer video, maybe, as with the layers and everything. There's more to do. Okay, this one. Now, I think I'm going to pop this. Do I want to have it coming out of that border or do I want it to be behind the border? I think I'm going to pop it down first and then put the border on. And yeah, I'm going to use this glue again. And I'm not going to pop it forward because we've already got some dimension with that. Um, oh, we need to move you over a bit. Sorry. Can't have your leaves coming over the end, otherwise you won't go in the envelope. There's that one there. Uh, so let's get some pads. Put down a little bit. Yes, I'm hoping to do more videos for different companies. Um, I've got um, a load of, well, not a load, I've got the set of Botology stamps from Creative Expressions. They're super cute little robots. Um, and it would be really nice to try out that new um, stamping platform with those. Maybe with some spellbinder dye. So lots of plans. So hopefully you'll see a little bit more. Obviously you only have to watch what you're interested in. If you only like Hunky Dory, then you just have to watch Hunky Dory. But I just thought it might be interesting uh, for you as well. You know, if you haven't seen any of these products, if you haven't watched any of the spellbinder videos, um, yeah, it's worth seeing what the products are out there and. You don't get the same effect as this hunky dory, that's for sure. They are a totally different style of card. I've just left pads off the end just to um, hopefully accommodate a little bit of this height of this piece. No, it's not straight, it doesn't look straight to me. Let's just take that up a bit. And the beauty of using that glue. No, that looks really on the wrong now. Where is my ruler? Come here, ruler. Come and help me. I'm oh, sorry if you see my head there. I'm just going to pop. Pad at the end, I think that's what's making it not look quite as straight as it is. There we go, happy with that. We're going to leave it at that. Really must get a smaller version of that ruler because it really is quite helpful. Okay, and then this one I'm going to do just coming above on the other side, so a little bit of glue. And then I'm going to pop that there. Actually, if I line it up with that line there, and then I know that's straight. So, gems. Oops. Um, I think with this one, let's do a couple of gold ones. Or, no, let's not do gold. 
I have another idea. If I can get to them at the back of this drawer, my little dewdrop ones. Now, if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that at one point I was obsessed with these and they went on every card I made. Okay, so these are brilliant because what you can do is just pop a little bit of glue and it will cloudy up for a minute and then it will dry um, clear. But you can. I don't ever want to put big one on there. Let's grab. a smaller one and let's take just a little bit of that glue off I think that's a bit too much of what I'm going to do put that there just put that little one on there like so um, and then I'm going to pop maybe a smaller one over here to them today just popping them on where I felt like it like I say that glue will dry clear um, and you will be able to see through them um, your other option you've got if you don't like these uh, clear dew drops is to use your glossy accent type products but that is card number two which I, I love that's going on my side for a little while so we've got that one which is looking lovely and then we've got our little plant escaping the garden one card number two let me line them down so you can see them both um, and I've still got this one which will just go on a card pretty much as it is I've got a sentiment I've got a little bit that I might make it into a corner and I've even got phone pad falling everywhere I've even got Quite a bit of decoupage left so i've got three nice cards out of that and i've only used uh nearly four inches of four by six um of a different piece of card so i am happy with that so that is uh my crafting for today so hopefully you've enjoyed that um i am going to come back with a couple of these um i'm probably not going to stay on it too long because i kind of think from last time um i played with the decoupage the videos we're not as popular as other things, um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm definitely want to have another couple of plays for them because I've got the whole kit and it is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous kit. And I love the way that they are being really conscientious with their layers in giving us as, you know, as much opportunity to split them up and, and make them into different cards as we could you know I mean like for this one I, I didn't even need to put that on the front I could just left that with that there and maybe brought the sentiment down here and then had this on a little you know little frame in a card you know that's another card that could be card number four but um yeah I'm happy with those I think those are two really nice cards um so um that is it for today like I say thank you so much for watching um I really do appreciate the time you take to support me by watching my videos and I will see you next time but until then happy crafting bye